Is it possible to make money and grow really fast on Instagram this year? Especially in these crazy times and with this crazy new Instagram algorithm, and especially if you're starting from scratch. I say yes, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how can you do that and also how we're doing and pulling upwards of $25,000 per week just from Instagram alone. This is going to be part one of a video series that we're putting here together for you guys where we show you step-by-step step how you can start growing your account and most importantly, also how you can start monetizing and making that online Instagram money. So make sure you pay attention and if you wanna check out the other parts, part two, three, four, and all the way to seven of the entire course, make sure you check out the link down below where we have an entire part and video series. And most importantly, in this video, make sure you stay until the end because I'm gonna give you a little special surprise and offer that's gonna dramatically help your account a ton. So let's get started with this Instagram growth and monetization video course series we have for you. And the cool part about this is that from this stuff and the information that I'm gonna share with you, people have gone out and implemented and have insane results. Some people have made $15,000 in just 24 hours. Others have grown 100,000 followers in just three months and have been able to close clients just because of the information that I'm gonna share with you here on the course and video series. So let's jump right into part one. <laughs> Welcome all SEOs to the channel that is all about helping you grow and monetize your brand, business and influence with social media and marketing. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. And of course, welcome to this first Instagram growth and monetization video course series we have going on. So make sure that you also hit that like button. Um, it just helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm and just helps this video and entire series gets more exposure and help a lot more people. And like I said before, this is part one of this entire video course series. And this actually was something that I did privately for Ryan's community, a good friend of mine, where I showed him this entire seven part series, breaking down everything step by step by step. And today here, we have decided to share it with you as well. So let's just jump into it right away and show you in this part one, how we're pulling upwards of $25,000 per week, just from Instagram alone. And also, and most importantly, how can you do it as well, even if you're starting from scratch or have a small following? But you make $25,000 a week with Instagram. Yeah. So can you maybe start by explaining what it is that you're doing to uh, be making that astounding amount of money? Yeah, so um, what I usually do is like, obviously I learned how to market on Instagram how to grow it, but basically what I've built is an Instagram marketing agency. So we handle Instagram ads, Insta influencer marketing campaigns, and mainly also Instagram growth campaigns for clients, and then they pay us, and that's how we make 25 Gs a week. So it's, it's pretty, it's a very easy business model, just because like you don't need that many clients also. So like my initial pricing right now is between four grand to five grand a month. So you only need like five clients, like or like 10 clients, 20, like actually 10, 20, 25 clients to make like okay. 25. So it sounds week. like a much larger number, but so your average package for a client that works with you, you said is $4,000. To start. To start. Yeah, so I have, I've had clients that pay like 20K a month, 50K a month, right? Wow. So like, um, well, maybe like, depending on like the space you're in, if you're familiar with the intermarketing space, like Alex Becker, can they like a lot of big name entrepreneurs, um, I work directly with them, like Lady Boss, like a company that does like multiple eight figures. Okay. Like so, these I, are people with large budgets, so they can afford to pay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, like, I position myself not as like the Toyota of Instagram, but more like the Rolls Royce, and like, okay. and obviously the results back it up. So, gotcha. Um, like, you don't need that many clients to be honest with you. Like, once you're like you are dealing with like bigger companies, more high quality clients. Um, and that kind of stuff. So that's basically uh, what I do with uh, Instagram marketing agencies. It's fun. So Alex Becker, obviously, he doesn't have time to manage his Instagram page. Mm -hmm. So you step in and you help him build a following and yeah. kind of provide content for him. Yeah. So basically, like, it, it depends on like what the need of the client is. Like, for example, with him specifically, what we did is like, okay, you like you don't want to produce your own content all the time. That's right. Fine. You have a very unique personality and you have very unique messages. So let's find content that's out there already performing well. Um, what I call BPPs or best performing posts and then post it on your page because okay. it's gonna resonate with your audience. Build your audience up and then sell through Instagram story. That's like the Instagram stories is the most powerful tool uh, that anyone has. Um, and you don't need a huge following to make a lot of money with Instagram. 
Um, like for my own Instagram account, which is funny because like it has a small following. I yeah. have like I have five million followers total myself through different accounts. But my personal now, can one, you explain what that means yourself? So like that's through everybody you manage, or, or are those like, your personal ones that yeah. these are your own pages that you own, not just manage. Exactly. Okay. Like client client accounts, I don't even count them in towards my that own total. Network. Like five million, my own pages that I personally own, like World of Artists. That one has follow actually by Kobe Bryant. Oh wow. Um, had like a lot like. Explorer, like classic grooming, lace and fitness. I can just like keep naming. It's like 10 what's the what's the big like top three follower wise? How it's, it's two point two million, wow. one million, and then like four hundred thousand. And so. did you buy these? Build them from scratch? A little bit of a mix? Yeah. Or? So um, right now I also buy pages, but the two point two million follower one was built from scratch. Actually, wow. no, it was bought when they had like. 10, 20K followers. Well, but so most of it, yeah, you get credit for building that up. Exactly. So that's pretty wild. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And basically from there, then um, what I was going to say is like, you don't need a big following to monetize, which is like the biggest misconception people have. Like I actually did a case study um, in the last seven days of September, right? And on my own personal following, which is like 20K something thousand on my personal Instagram, like we did over like $71,000. Right. In the, in the last, how long was that? Like it was in a week. Like in a the, week. In between like in the last couple of days of September and the first week of October, like between September 26th and October 6th, like a week or so, uh, we did like $71,000. Um, with a 20,000 following. With 20, 22,000 Something followers. like that. Yeah. Why is that the case within, like, so what is it about Instagram that's different than, because I know on YouTube, yeah, you can make money with a small following, mm -hmm. but not that amount of money. Yeah. What is it about Instagram that's making that yeah. this way where you can make money with such a small following? Instagram stories. What the stories. Yeah. So like okay. the thing with Instagram stories is like so powerful because um, first off, is Instagram is all about in the moment. Like it's very instant. So if you miss it, you miss it. So people okay. know that. Instagram stories has already the urgency and scarcity play in it because like that's the, the two tools that marketers have, like this most powerful ones is urgency and scarcity. Instagram stories already has the built-in because they disappear in 24 hours. Oh, okay. So, so it's like, the fact that it's a limited offer that's not going to be there when the story is gone. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So what I did was, and that was like the $71,000 was completely organic, like zero paid ads, right? Um, what I did was like, obviously I was providing value before, um, but I would just pitch. And I was like, I created an offer and what I call like an Instagram story mini webinar, right? And you see this like on, if you go to Lady Boss's page, like you see it on the highlights. And it's okay. very, it's very like it's a framework where you provide value and before you pitch, you make a poll or you ask a question pre-framing people before you actual pitch. So for example, what I would do is like, what is your, uh, like, um, do, you, do you struggle with like your Instagram marketing? Yes sure. or no? Like 90% of people So you pull people, me. they vote yes or no on the exactly, story. Exactly. Okay. It's micro commitment. Yes, 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 yes. And they're like, okay, cool. If you vote it yes, then swipe up right now. If you don't have 10,000 followers, you don't have the swipe up feature, but it's the same thing. Like swipe up and direct message me IG secrets or, or if you're in fitness, direct message me fitness secrets or whatever, right. right? And people who are actually interested will direct message you. But here's the thing. People will like, about 10% of people who actually will are ready to buy will direct message you. The rest are the ones who vote it yes. So what I did was direct message to people who voted yes that they had the problem or the pain point that we're trying to solve and say, hey, John, I just noticed that you voted yes on my last poll where I actually asked X, Y, Z, V, D, Q. Okay. Um, would you like to like, I was thinking like, just tell me a little bit more about like what you're actually trying to do and what, what your problem is, right? Sure. And John's like, oh my God, thank you so much for following up with me. I never thought like you would actually do that. Yeah, like, I've never heard of any. Now, so is this an automated system no, that no, did that? Like, so you literally know. personally went in there, looked at who voted yeah. and then sent messages oh, to these people. My, my team. But okay, yeah. so, but, <laughs> but, but it, it was, was actually, it was, it was a person doing that, a exactly. human person. Mm -hmm. So really it's take, so, it's taking it's like that follow, extra follow, step. Yeah, it's like follow yeah. up on sales. Like, yeah, okay. Like, like a lead comes in, they're interested. Like, maybe like they need a little bit of a follow up. It's like statistically speaking, like you need between six and eight touch points with one lead to make a sale. Okay. You know, like so if you want to make a sale, like stop. Like you can make a sale with like really small following. So that's what I, I'm saying. It's like even if you get a hundred views per story, that's a hundred people who have the attention every single day for a 24 hour period of time that you can pitch to, provide value, pitch to, and then just follow up with them. And that's yeah, it. I think a lot of people they like they discount the fact that they have a hundred people looking at their story, and they're just gonna see who immediately converts. And I've never heard of anybody following up with people on yeah. Instagram, but it seems like these are the small things you have to do to really mm -hmm. like get big numbers from a small following. Yeah, exactly. And like once you're small, like you can actually pull those up. Like as you're bigger, like back, it gets a little bit harder exactly. to message everybody directly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you only do that with like higher ticket items. Like if you're selling a ten thousand dollars ticket or something like that, right? Then it becomes like obviously worth it. But like once you're starting out, like even if you can make like direct message ten people and you make from ten people you make two sales at forty bucks each, that's eighty bucks. Right. Like, yeah. Eighty bucks, you know, like and that all took you like 10, 15 minutes to do. Right, if you, you know? calculate your hourly rate on that activity, <laughs> exactly. it's really not too bad. Exactly, yeah. so like people like get this misconception, like 100 people is 100 people, like if you had 100 people in a room, like, right. that is a 
what little people like? That's a lot of people that you're actually talking to. Right, people, I know you think of views and people as like two different things, but every single person is, every single view is really a person at the end of the day. Exactly. Yeah. So like once you like frame it like that, um, then things completely change. And the reason, for example, I absolutely love that the updates that Instagram has been coming up, like the question, like asking a question. Yes. Okay. That's beautiful. Like you guys like, Instead of just saying, ask me anything, and if you're a hot girl, you probably do that, and you, all you get is like, are you single? <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, But yeah. if you're a dude, like, nobody asks you anything. But like, what I do is like, I preframe people before they ask me a question. So I put the question thing, and instead of saying, ask me anything, I say, what is your biggest struggle with Instagram? Okay, gotcha. Or what is, like, if you're fitness, like, I have fitness uh, uh, clients as well, what is your biggest struggle with losing weight? Mm -hmm. People will literally just tell them, my biggest struggle with losing weight is that I binge eat at night. Well, awesome. Okay. Actually, I have a free program, like, free cheat sheet that actually helps you and gives you all the meal plans that you can binge eat at night, right? And, like, people are literally telling you their pain point, and that's all that sells is. Like, you're identifying problems, pain points. Exactly. Right. And they're telling you, which is like you don't need to come up with them. Right. You don't like you don't like, oh, maybe people have struggled with X. No, like they're saying, I have an issue with this. Mm -hmm. And they're saying like, oh cool, I can solve that for you. Right. So like when you preframe questions and you just ask your audience, like it just works so so well. And yeah. like that that in combination, that's like monetization. But in order to like to get to that point, I would say like your page needs to be optimized in order to, for that, right? You okay. just can't yeah. wing it and hope it sticks. So like your content needs to like be relevant and in line with what you're trying to sell. Um, if you're trying to sell a fitness program or you're in beauty and makeup or in hunting or whatever, stop posting like pets or your what you ate for or your about. Starbucks and stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. Like, like yes, you can be personal and mm -hmm. whatever. That's for Instagram stories, but on the page itself, like it should be in line with what you're trying to do on the page itself. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't really understand the context of each part of Instagram and they use it kind of incorrectly, putting low quality posts on the feed and then I think there's a lot of people that are just very confused about mm -hmm. how to use this yeah, platform. Like, like for example, best thing simple, like your own page, right? Sure, yeah. So like, would you post a picture of a cat or you watch your way for Taco Bell on the feed itself? No, absolutely not. Because exactly. it's all investing related. Exactly. Yeah, like, people exactly. don't really care unless you tie that post into some type of investing like Starbucks, stock was worth like pennies like 20 years ago and yeah something like that show the starbucks cup of coffee and then talk about so you're mm -hmm. tying it into your niche exactly that exactly. makes a lot of unless, sense unless you do it like that but like people just post random stuff all the mm -hmm. time and they hope it think like hopefully it sticks in the wall and that's not the case like your content is like people say content is king like that couldn't be farther like that's the truth like that's, okay that is the truth your content needs to be in line with what you're trying to do, what you're trying to sell. Then on Instagram stories, you tie it up all together and then you actually sell to people in a really non-pushy, non-salesy way because okay. it goes away in 24 hours and people don't want to see your pitch. They just tune out, right? Mm -hmm. And it's different from the feed that just stays there. Not forever because you can delete You can it, delete stuff, but okay. That different. makes a lot of mm -hmm. sense, yeah. So how w when you got your first client, like what, what would you expect if you just started out what would you charge your first client if you were brand new? Because obviously, you know, charging four thousand dollars a month to start is huge. Yeah. But you can't expect that from day one, right? Yeah, of course. So, like, what I did, and it's actually funny. Um, I remember still my first paying client it was September, two thousand sixteen. Uh, September thirteenth, two thousand sixteen. Right. Um, which is a little over two years right now. But what ended up happening is like. I was just providing value online. Like I wasn't thinking of clients. I wasn't thinking of that. Mm -hmm. And then somebody just hit me up and like, this guy's probably worth like, worth like 50 million or something. And, oh, wow. and like, okay. he hit me up and like, he's like, I want to grow my phone. I'm like, you're worth 50 million. Like what the heck do you want to grow your following? I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, how much would you charge me? I'm like, I don't know, 3,500 bucks a month. And he's like, cool, here you go. I'm like, really? I'm like, huh. Crap, I should have charged you more. <laughs> I should have charged like 10 grand. But even that's amazing because yeah. that's like what most people make as a salary for a job for one client. Yeah. So. Yeah. and But but then after that, like I transitioned, like I did, like from that point to the end of the year, we made like six figures, which so seemed quickly. But what you can charge, like as you're starting out, it all comes down to what you can provide, how good you are, because people are going to pay for a skill set. That's right. like the biggest thing I would say. If you have a skill set and you're good at what you do, like the price point becomes relevant. Right. Because if you're able to convey what the result that people are going to get from your skill set, then the price point becomes irrelevant. Like I had no fitness trainers that, for example, a good friend of mine, um, his name is Tanner, right? Tanner Scheister or fitness, I don't know. Mm -hmm. He went from like zero to 100K in three months selling high ticket items through Instagram DMs. And again, same exact strategy. Okay. Same strategy. A hundred, zero to $100,000 in three months selling like $3,000 packages or $4,000 packages in the fitness stitch. Yeah. And when people sell like $47 eBooks, like on, the, like on the flip side, and he had a, like he doesn't have a large following, right? So it all comes down to you having a skill set, 
being able to convey that skill set to the client and sell them on the results, not necessarily on the product or service that you're saying. Okay, that makes sense because so, you don't want to become a commodity. Exactly, exactly. So I would say like, um, if you're starting out, like depending on how confident you are, like just start charging like $100 or $500 per client, right? Just just get your feet wet, just start, just start like getting your hands dirty. And as you get results, get testimonies, then you start like charging a little bit more, a little bit more. And also it becomes like, the reason why I charge so much is that I supply and demand thing. Like sure. I can only take so many clients um, and I prefer to take just a handful of clients that I really, really like, that I love working with them, that I, you know, I can deliver results a lot and I can get paid a lot. Sure. Versus, you know, but like before, like I was doing, I would take any client. And again, again, like that guy that, uh, I'm really grateful that, you know, I signed over for 3500 bucks a month, but he wasn't paying the butt. He would just okay. call me like at 3 a.m. and I would pick up the phone thinking like <laughs> I was gonna lose the client. So like, you gotta obviously set up boundaries, but just think of who you, you wanna work with I would say, and just like start getting your feedback. Like if you're not comfortable, like if you don't think you're worth a thousand bucks a month, just th that's nothing wrong with that. Like that's that's just you starting out. Start with 500, start with 100 bucks So a you month. start with what you think your value is, but I think that's really important too, is start by, focus on what your skill is. And and I'm sure like you're making Alex Becker a lot of money with yeah, your like, Instagram. Like so six figures a month, like multiple six figures a month. So when your service is paying for itself, three or four or 10 times over, that's a very easy sell. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, and, and the, also the thing that people don't understand, it's like people think, and this is something that you also need to tell your client, people think with anything really, like Facebook, YouTube, like doesn't matter. People think that just like posting content out there is gonna make you money. Sure. That's not true. The money's made outside the platform. Meaning okay. like using Instagram as a traffic tool to your funnels, to your webinar like Becker does, or to your offers, or to your e-commerce, or your supplements like Lady Boss does, that's where the money's at. Like if you depend solely on sponsorships or things like that, you're gonna, like you're gonna have a tough time. That's and the you're gonna hit a cap, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. at a and that's the point. reason why yeah. a lot of a lot of influencers are broke. Like a lot. I know, like influencers with millions of followers, and they charge twenty five bucks a post. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I, but you were like, buy buy a post for me on my twenty thousand follower account. I will charge you at the very minimum like three grand. Like, because yeah. I know like the relationship that I have with my audience, and I know they buy. Right. So. You know, that's the thing. Um, there's a very like, it's, it's the wild wild west out there, like on Instagram right now, which is good for you watching because if you because it's a action, huge opportunity. Exactly, yeah. and I believe I saw a statistic that in 2020, 70 percent of Facebook's ad revenue is going to come from Instagram. Like, really? Yeah. Ad, the, the ad uh, cost is spiking on Facebook right now because everybody's flipping. Like, all the big companies are dumping money. Uh, the algorithm is just screwed up, and like everybody's like, or like the small market or the medium sized businesses are looking. Oh, the next one is Instagram. We're gonna go there. So like you're watching right now, you just have to jump on it like right. fast. And boom, I hope you guys enjoyed that part one where we broke down step by step everything that needed in order to break the $25,000 per week from Instagram. Make sure you go out there and start implementing the strategies and tips that I share with you here in this video. And here is the offer and little special surprise that I promise in the beginning of the video. For those that are interested in knowing a little bit more or working with us a little bit more directly, just comment below the word Instagram. We will reply to your comments and then privately message you to see if you actually qualify for our unlimited mentorship and signature program. Some of our clients and students that we have worked with have had astronomical and insane results. I'm just gonna flash some of them here on the screen. So if you're interested in working more closely hand on with me and us at Online CEOs, just comment the word Instagram and we'll get you back with the details to see if you qualify and apply for it. Other than that, make sure you check out part two of this video series. The link is down below in the description where we break down step by step how to get that moolah and grow on Instagram, okay? See you in part two of this video course series, link down below. Or of course, somewhere right here. And before I forget, don't forget to hit that like button if you are enjoying and loving this video course series on Instagram growth and monetization.